The week before the Israeli invasion, Hamas and the PLO agreed to negotiate with Israel, giving tacit recognition to the state of Israel. Most of the mass media published reports of the accord and the European Union welcomed the agreement, stating it was the beginning of a process. The Financial Times reported, the crisis has overshadowed a vital agreement, reached by Hamas and Mahmoud Abbas, Palestinian Authority President. On Tuesday that includes an implicit Hamas acceptance of a two-state solution to the Middle East conflict. A copy released by Hamas refers to the Palestinian goal of a state on all the land occupied in 1967. Israel responded by rejecting negotiations and launching a new war to destroy the Palestinian state. The Israeli state never at any point even recognized the elected Hamas government as a negotiating adversary let alone a partner. As Noam Chomsky has documented, at every moment since the 1980s that the PLO has carried out a ceasefire, proposed a two-state solution and explicitly recognized the state of Israel. The Jewish state initiated an action that promptly threw the possibility out the window. It launched the invasion of Lebanon, assassinated prominent leaders or launched military assaults, killing activists and civilians to force the Palestinians to withdraw their offer. The Israeli regime absolutely refuses to accept a negotiated prisoner release and exchange proposed by Hamas. The Palestinian Authority, U.S. client Hosni Mubarak and most of the European Union. Israel holds at least 9,000 Palestinian political prisoners including 335 children and several hundred women, most of whom have not been charged and of whom almost all have been tortured. The great majority are civilians who were seized in their homes or in the street. In a word, most Palestinian prisoners are civilian kidnapped victims of the Israeli Defense Forces, not captured combatants, as is the case of the lone Israeli soldier. The Palestinians have repeatedly called on Israel at least to free the 500 kidnapped Palestinian children and women hostages in exchange for their captured soldiers. Israel responded by intensifying its military assaults and widening the net to include all Palestinians. At a cabinet meeting on July 2nd, Olmert stated, I have given instructions to intensify the strength of action by the army and security services to hunt down these terrorists, those who sent them, and those who harbor them. In other words, the resistance organizations dubbed terrorists, although they are within their international legal rights under the Geneva Conventions to combat Israeli military incursions. Include all major Palestinian organization shows who send them, include all the elected political authorities. And those who harbor them includes hundreds of thousands of families, friends, neighbors, community and civic groups, doctors and nurses in a word, Palestinian civil society.